Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Place The Binding of Isaac again! Yesterday we had an Eve run. It was a good Eve run. You remember that Ice Cube song, It Was a Good Day? This is, you know, pretty much just a stealing of his intellectual property, of, of the intellectual property of Mr. Cube, if you will. Um, but it really was. We became Guppy. We had eh, about a, a trillion spirit hearts, somewhere in the vicinity of a trillion spirit hearts anyway. Um, we're probably gonna end up rerolling Book of Shadows, but I want to check inside of here first, just in case we could reroll something in the curse room instead, which might be more viable. Probably not. So those spirit hearts pretty useful for us. Could have saved half of the red heart on the way in, but whatever. I really hate the bag of pennies because it makes other consumables worse. Because it's so early, I may end up picking it up though. We'll see. Anyway, go watch yesterday's Eve run if you haven't seen it. It was very good. There's like no complaints whatsoever that I could offer about it, except that it took a little while to get going, I guess. Give me the small rock, please. Well, more spirit hearts, you know, it just ups our chance of getting that deal with the devil on the next floor. We will have another reroll, which hopefully I'll be able to use on sack of pennies. And if we end up getting something that I can't use, well, so be it. At least we tried, right? We're not going to be able to reroll a uh, cube of meat, nor would we really want to. A, a very first floor cube of meat is like the perfect intersection of, you know, easy boss half decent item like the item is proportional the item quality I should say is proportional to the boss fight that precedes it pretty easy boss fight pretty okay item that can become a little bit more valuable and it's it's super valuable when you get it early on in the game because of the cumulative shots it'll end up blocking for you but for now I'm just gonna continue making a uh, conversation here while I await the inevitable death of famine Please uh, go into your permanent uh, face state anytime now. Thank you for not creating any flies uh, in the interim period. I will just continue doing some dodges uh, out of the way here like so. One more. That'll get the job done. And we will be able to get back to full health. And we, uh, we will be able to reroll a sack of pennies. So please, on the third one here, be useful. For people asking for a little bit more clarification, why don't I take sack of pennies? If we end up getting uh, the miter, then it lowers the chance of us getting spirit hard drops. Scapular is much better for a number of reasons. Uh, if we knew how the item actually worked effectively, we could use it fantastically. Uh, as is, it's basically like a, you know, keep you on life support when you're in a very bad position. And it takes an item out of the deal with the angel pool. So if we end up getting deals with the angel, we're a little bit more likely to come across something like Sacred Heart, for example. So, don't really love the idea of this fortune teller, but we can easily go to our item room quickly. It's Ouija board. Ouija board, I kind of dislike. Uh, most, I, I'm still trying to shoot that poop, that was embarrassing. Um, I mostly dislike it. Makes it very difficult to shoot poop and shoot fires. It's pretty okay from an offensive standpoint. It's really nice when combined with the ability to fly, of course. But I think I might take it just because it also takes a, it takes an item out of the deal with the devil pool, which means I'll be more likely to get better items in the future. And I think it's half decent at least. I'm not thrilled with it, but that's fine. We'll put a bomb here. Not really looking for secret rooms instead. Oh, not really looking for golden chests either. We may end up opening that though, because it seems pretty unlikely that we're going to be able to open the shop. Um, or we're going to be able to buy anything if we do open it. The library is another possible option, but I don't, I don't really go too hard on library strat. At least not in a situation like this, where... Um, I probably would not be able to get more than one reroll, and the reroll that I would use wouldn't immediately grant me anything. Like, the library is where you spend your runoff rerolls, in my perspective at least. I've runoff rerolls, I don't know why, but just saying that even in my normal voice made me feel like Scooby Doo. Runoff rerolls? Anyway, Judas Tongue. Great item for us to have. Great trinket, I guess I should say, for us to have if we are gonna go hard on these deals with the devil, and it's looking pretty likely that we'll have a half-decent shot at making that work for us. There we go, one of these guys actually died. Makes my life a lot easier in the process. Okay. I'm not gonna re I know we have a reroll available. I'm still not gonna use it on the library, even though now it might seem like a waste. I guess this is the definition of a runoff reroll. I can't say that with a straight face. But, um... I think, uh, I think I'm gonna save it for, like, immediate deal with the devil usage, even though this is a huge floor. Apparently, Curse of the Lost just means you get a couple of extra rooms that have fire and, uh, a slot machine in them, or a fortune teller. Oh well, could be worse, I suppose. And I probably could have afforded to use one reroll on the, uh... Oh, no, come back this way, thank you. 
Probably could have afforded to use one reroll on the uh, library, but it would have cost us our key as well. So would it have been worth it? Ah, uh, that was awful. Uh, it might have been worth it, I'll admit. And I'm just saving Ouija board until the end, not just because it's a special item, but because I want to, you know, pretty much easily be able to shoot all of our uh, poop and fire. And because I'm not totally sold on Ouija board yet, because I might end up not taking it. I don't know. We'll see. It depends. If I get, like, Lord of the Pit in this uh, deal with the Devil Room, I'll probably end up taking Ouija board, because that gives me, uh, effectively, like, my own homemade uh, Spirit, of Spirit of the Night. But Spirit of the Night seems to show up most frequently as a flying item. More keys means that golden chest is definitely going to be opened. Kind of sucks that we have to fight against Monstro here, but our existing damage is totally fine. I don't know why I'm trying to do the Monstro 2 uh, strats on him. How are we going to make this go any faster? Oh, just go get a snack or a drink or something like that. This is, uh, you know, champion Monstro with a decent amount of HP. I don't know what the negative to this Monstro is. Maybe there is no negative. I guess he's slow, so he's very un unlikely to jump on you, but... Monstro's not the enemy that jumps on us to begin with. It's, it's very typically uh, the Widow instead. With his bullshit, like, anti-traction shoes. These are not actually wearing shoes. It's probably just, like, pads on the bottom of his feet or something. I don't know. Now, if you could uh, stop shooting like that, that would be great. Because the range uh, advantage that you have is a little bit disappointing to have to deal with. There we go. We get Squeezy and some Spirit Hearts. So many spirit hearts. And Judas Tongue, time to do your magic. Okay. We became Guppy last time. I'm not gonna do it this time. Even though we could pretty easily. Let's reroll it. Let's try some a, a different way to do things. And of course, now we get the shovel and the razor blade, which are, are both god-awful. I may end up regretting that decision, but at the same time, it's okay. I didn't want to... I'll admit, you know, previously when I became Guppy, it was like, well, I, I worked for it, right? Guppy's not easy to become. True. Uh, but now, I become Guppy with some alarming regularity, so... Not alarming might not be the right word, but with some regularity, so I would rather not, um, you know, overstay its welcome, if that makes sense. So there's a lot of money inside of that golden chest. I don't know how... We, we can't quite get enough money to go to the shop. There might be something on sale... Here's what I'm thinking, okay? Maybe we get super lucky. We go to the shop, there's a bomb on sale. There wasn't, but there is actually a Steam sale on sale. This is one of the very few times when that is actually probably the right item for us to pick up. A seven cent Steam sale when we don't have a reroll charge? Sure, why not? Let's leave. I know we could use a key to go to the library. Keys are still precious to me as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, that, that worked out all right. I'm interested to see how not taking any deals with the devil affects us in the future. The next deal we get might be with the Angel, and we should get more deals, considering that, uh, you know, we have a ton of Spirit Hearts to back us up here. It's pretty unlikely we'll end up taking Red Heart damage on this floor. Uh, ooh, uh, kind of got myself into a difficult state there, but got out uh, via a very well-timed escape route. Oh, come on. Seriously, just stay on, like, a straight line for a little while. What the heck, you ding-dong? I, I hate the I hate the AI on these. Can you just stay? Like, don't turn. Thank you. Alright. Took some dumb damage. Life goes on. We're already at the boss room. So let's think about this floor. Obviously, we want to go to the item room. As far as the shop goes, we have a key, so we can make it. We need seven cents. That's a pretty easy get, I would say. Boss room. Really hoping we still have deal with the angel precedent. I would love... Or, sorry, deal with the devil precedent. I would love to get uh, mom's knife or something like that. Even Brimstone, we passed up Brimstone last time in favor of becoming Guppy. We're gonna get a second level cube of meat, good for DPS. A little, a little good for DPS at least. Um, I would rather not use our bomb here if possible. We can get uh, Pestilence to just shoot over here instead. Gives us uh, another bomb. Excellent, by not using a bomb, we actually got an extra one. And another Spirit Heart to compensate a little bit for the damage that I've taken on this floor so far. I could use a bomb to attack Pestilence and speed things up a little bit, but... Um, Generally speaking, patience wins the day on this fight. You just gotta be, uh, you gotta be cool. Pestilence is still one of the easiest bosses you can fight at this stage of the game, but, uh, can be annoying if you allow yourself, like I did here, to get trapped, uh, behind these rocks. I'm so tempted to just use a fucking bomb. It would speed this up so much. And once you get through the first phase... Oh, he hurt himself, I guess. Once you get through the first phase and he stops making silkworms, it becomes a lot easier, but... God damn it. Up to that point, it's, uh... 
somewhat difficult occasionally at least okay you know what I'm, I'm i'm sick of your shit pestilence there you go that only did like one eighth of his hp so it's not that incredible but the bomb was basically free so come on give me another deal with the devil or, or something i probably didn't deserve to get one and that's fine let's move along disappointed yes but i'll, I'll survive we're still pretty strong. The cube of meat is a nice benefit. I mean, it's okay. Could use some HP here, uh, but you know, the fact that we have Judas Tongue means we don't really need HP quite as much. We have a slightly lower demand for HP as a result of Judas Tongue. The latter would be kind of sweet, I guess. There's not much we can do about this except free a neutral fly. I can't believe that he hit me. Fuck neutral flies forever. Just so you know, if you're a neutral fly out there, you're a piece of shit, I hate you. Okay, we're gonna leave so that the neutral flies, at least some of them, die. And, uh, okay, another key, which is great. We'll just come up here quickly. Alright, all's forgiven. Polyphemus. Great damage. Hard to shoot the, the poops here, but at least we have Meat Boy that compensates for the inability to shoot poop via um, Ouija board. This is great. This is a great item. You don't need me to tell you that. Polyphemus is one of the best items in the game. Very happy to have it. Not a one run yet. Polyphemus is not one of the very few items in the game that is like a guaranteed win. Mom's knife typically is. Brimstone, probably like 75% of the time, is or helps out a lot. Um, ooh, careful. Polyphemus has a high, like, coincidence with winning, but is not a winning uh, item in and of itself. So I mentioned getting the ladder and then getting curved horn, but now that we have a reroll and we're here, I can't commit to it. I think it's better to do something like that and get the map. And the secret room is right there, weirdly enough. Uh, and I, the reason, part of the reason at least, is that I want to stick with Judas Tongue because it's so useful if we uh, actually do get more deals with the devil. It could be worth like 3 or 4 HP, so. Let's go to the secret room first. Map is, you know, one of those classic shop items that I'm always happy to have. Alright, plenty of money. That'll definitely pay for a, a secret room on the next, or uh, a shop on the next floor or you know the next time we have a useful shop at least is this what the catacombs is now it's just neutral flies like that's that's what the catacombs does so i'm trying to like break this poop i'd rather not kill this fly i'd rather just leave but whatever okay one spirit heart down the drain to check this out uh, please don't be telepills speed upgrade is fine now if you're telepills i don't mind ah uh, that's good okay so we got a speed uh speed up luck down much better than having those uh, in opposite order, or opposite uh, value. Cool. Let's go with our mob trap room and then we'll leave the floor. Still very happy about where we're standing, especially of course with that Polyphemus get. More money? Doesn't hurt. The fact that we have the steam sale, um, you know, makes the money a little bit less useful. But hey, steam sale only applies to shops, you know? If we could actually get uh, a couple of judgments to spawn or something, then this money will prove to potentially be super useful. Should be a very easy floor. I'm hoping that we have the caves next, which will be even easier. And I'll have a little bit of time, almost like a, you know, summer vacation or something like that. Because I'm way more powerful than I should be, or typically would be up to this point in the game. But as of right now, we're not really feeling that too much because we are on the catacombs. We would feel it more appropriately if we went down to the next floor and it happened to be the caves, which it is. Okay, good stuff. All right. So I'm not going to try any sneaky stuff. Probably with like using bombs instead of keys to get into special rooms because I do have two keys So we're just gonna go to this room just because it's the secret room There's no need to go to the curse room specially here. Uh, I don't think it's worth gambling on that and There's an arcade. Okay, interesting. Remember the arcade doesn't count as red heart damage like the the blood bank doesn't count as red heart damage so w f With respect to uh, getting a deal with the devil at least So we're gonna play this Pretty aggressively. Extra spirit heart just randomly in here feels pretty good. Hopefully we get uh, blood bag right away. If not, hopefully we get IV bag right away because we have a reroll. That's the worst case scenario is that it doesn't pay out at all right away. But that's okay. We'll go looking in our shop here. Hopefully it's just down here and uh, if we get a nun's habit or something like that, that's pretty much unlimited rerolls. This is our shop, lucky me. Not unlimited rerolls, but an awful lot of them. Mom's purse. I think it's worth picking up. Judas tongue, you know, not necessarily that incredible. I'm gonna take this pill as well. 
Well, at least we'd already used a key before we popped that. Um, yeah, so Mom's Purse is great. I don't really want to carry Judith's Tongue for the remainder of the game. I would like to get good use out of it on one or two deals with the devil, but um, for now... It's okay. It's potentially super useful, but I'd love to replace that with something like Cancer in the future, obviously. So we got our blood bag. That was um, not necessarily preordained, so I'm happy to have gotten it. Let's make our way over to another special section here, and really should like two-shot this guy. Three-shot. My mistake. Not our boss room, but our item room, and we do have a... Oh, that was so bad. Come on. Come on. Come on. I think Meat Boy keeps hitting him when he rotates. There we go. We do have a, uh, a reroll ready, and plenty of keys, and an escape route, thankfully. So we're just going to use this right away. All right, the shear is not particularly useful either, but that's okay for now. I wonder if I can kick one of these bad boys. Nope, let's just get out of the way. <laughs> no small rock, but we got our bomb back. We're going to lose our spirit heart immediately by walking in here, but that's okay. Ah, no, we're not, because we're going to gain another one. So we got two spirit hearts out of this uh, little song and dance over here. No keys left, but we can always gamble a little bit on that arcade if we want to. It's already paid out quite nicely for us, but the more the merrier. Now we're not going to get too many rerolls left over the course of this floor. Remember, no 9 volt, no nuns habit. That means we'll actually be lucky to get one. We're not going to get one, which means we're not going to be taking the shears. And we're not going to be able to reroll whatever. Oh, we're not going to be able to do anything there. We're not going to be able to reroll whatever this boss gives us. This is a very, very small floor. One reroll was all it took. Mind you, we did uh, kind of waste some time in rooms that didn't warrant rerolls earlier. Probably could have milked out a, at least a couple on this floor if uh, if you played your cards right. I took damage against Fistula, which makes me officially crowned the worst Binding of Isaac player in the world. 900 episodes deep, still taking ep still taking damage against like one of the easiest caves bosses. That's all right. We could still earn a deal with the devil pretty easily. Good, good, good. Okay, we even got another HP upgrade. Yeah. We have Ouija board, so I would rather take uh, Lord of the Pit here, actually. Gives us a speed upgrade. And I guess it's just down to the next floor. Uh, yes. We don't really care about gambling that much right now. Cool. So, that was a pretty good floor. Necropolis XL means that Judas Tongue is looking like it's going to be pretty useless for the entirety of the game. Except, I guess I did just get Lord of the Pit probably at half off. So, that's fine. So, we got a lot of HP there. I would really love to get the compass on this floor. And some better trinkets. Could have gambled on a slot machine for some better... Or a fortune teller for some better trinkets, but so be it. This run's shaping up quite nicely. It's no, uh, it's no guppy run from the last episode, but it's pretty good. Now, normally, hey, normally I would probably save my key for the shop, but I'm not going to do that here. And the reason is we have a reroll ready already. So if this item room ends up being absolutely horrible, we can reroll it a couple of times, probably before we find another room to use our key on anyway. So it's a, it's a very small, you know, fairly conservative risk here. That was bad damage, but that's okay. The fact that it's not only XL, but Necropolis XL is super annoying, but I think we're strong enough to be able to make this work. So the Bean is pretty good in New Isaac, because it recharges, but not good enough. Speed upgrade, you know, pretty much exactly the same. Not good enough. It doesn't recharge, that doesn't make any damn sense, but it's just not good enough. So Jesus Juice was a nice damage upgrade, helping us out just a little bit here. There's our other uh, item room. We don't have a key available for it. It's always disappointing, but hopefully we'll get one right here, and then just it'll be good, and we can focus our rerolls on the um, on the other room, which currently has the belt on it. Which, come on, at this point of the game, is just kind of a slap in the face. There we go. Prophecy came true. Abel's not good enough to take yet, but he may, you know, we may not have a choice in the future, basically. So let's come down here and get our reroll back. We are still very strong. Um, I shouldn't be making it out like we're not in a great position. Because we are in a great position. You know, Polyphemus, Jesus Juice, ability to fly. Basically, let's just say we have Spirit of the Night, because we, we sort of do. Uh, and, and a lot of Spirit Hearts. And Scapular. Can't knock Scapular. But we are missing a little something to guarantee us, uh, or at least give us a good chance of being in a great position moving forward. So I did take the Luck Foot. Again, takes another item out of the deal with the Devil rotation, which I like. And additionally, uh, ah, that's good actually. 
Now we can go to the shop for sure. Additionally, gives us all good pills, which is great. Or all not bad pills, at least. Jeez, this guy is uh, giving us cards like crazy to start with here. So he also gave us a judgment card. In a weird way, I'm actually going to throw down this judgment card right here. Just in case it's another demon judgment, which it is. Now we can play two of them for one heart, for the cost of one uh, heart each. Or like one half heart total is actually, it was like the exact opposite of what I said. We could do with another speed upgrade, I'll, I'll take it for now. So this ended up working out. Demon Baby is fine, but maybe we don't necessarily want to take it. What's this pill? There we go, speed up. Oh man, I'll take it again. I also like to live dangerously. The reason I don't necessarily want to take Demon Baby right now is because we could get a double item room pedestal if this Demon Judgment pays out soon. And we do. <sighs> I like Horror Babylon, but because we're not going to become Guppy, we're probably not going to have a very good chance to, um, to get permanent Polaroid Invincibility and thus permanent Horror Babylon state, so I think I'm not going to take that. Uh, which means that kind of incentivizes not taking Demon Baby. Now, I know that when we reroll these, we're not going to get, uh, deal with the devil items. They're just going to become du a double item pedestal. I'm okay with it. It also means we're not going to be able to focus our rerolls on Abel instead. I'm okay with that, too. Let's just focus on surviving and generating reroll charges for now. Oh, come on. That didn't hit me. I mean, it clearly did, but I wish it didn't. That's what I'm trying to say. Now, we're getting a little low on Spirit Arts here, starting to worry me. It's a big floor. Oh, another Judgment. Very happy to have it. You know, we we can spend basically another 14 cents on him. Give me some Red Hearts, please. There might be an Arcade on this floor, too, and if there's an Arcade on this floor, we can make some uh, good stuff happen and maybe get another Blood Bag. Alright. Well, we just got more HP. Which is, I, I shouldn't be acting like that's not good. But I was kind of hoping he'd pay out with the compass or something. Oh, well. He does... Judgment always seems to be there when you need him. Sometimes he'll give you like a unicorn horn or something and you're like, alright, Judgment. Everybody gets a few chances to, to fuck up. Um, for most people, it's college. Uh, but still, I, I'm, I'm content with what I got there. So we'll double reroll this all the way across the sky. Mr. Mega, totally worth taking. I think it's better than Demon Baby by far. And, uh, Harlequin Baby, not good. Not good enough, at least. Not our shop, this is our curse room. Since we do still have Spirit Hearts to back ourselves up here, I'll wait until I get a reroll, then head to this curse room, and, uh, if we end up not using it, that's fine. Just be cool here. Uh, our shop must be on the other side of the map, unfortunately. I mean, I guess it's not that unfortunate, because we're going to explore the entirety of the floor anyway. Be cool here. There we go. There we go. One more. No. One more. So we will fight our first boss here. Uh, Goat Hoof's not good enough. And it's Mask of Infamy, which makes me very excited to have Mr. Mega. And Polyphemus, for that matter. And of course, it's the champion version of Mask of Infamy, where even the heart is kind of dangerous because it shoots uh, homing shots. Beautiful. So this is a little bit of a test. If only we had the D12, right? I'm just kidding, of course we are not playing Community Remix. Okay, we, we got the job done, we did get hit, but it's not like we're worrying about getting a deal with the devil anyway. Come on. There's one. Ah, uh, it's harder than it looks. Ah, two did it. Wow. Uh, so we do want to reroll the shot speed upgrade. Shot speed upgrade worse than Harlequin Baby by far. I guess I'm going to go into the curse room first, then I'll come back and reroll the shot speed upgrade. And it's a troll bomb. Okay. That's fine. Still got plenty of opportunities for this floor to be worthwhile. Okay, that's good. Tears upgrade when you have Polyphemus feels quite nice. I guess I might as well take this goat hoof with me for now. And, uh, sure. We're not going to take Harlequin Baby yet. Uh, in fact, should we reroll Harlequin Baby or Abel? We should reroll Abel. Harlequin Baby is better than Abel. Which one of these trinkets will we take with us with the Polaroid? I mean, we really don't need Goat Hoof. I think even if there's like a 10% chance that Judas Tongue saves us one more Red Heart, that makes it substantially more valuable than Goat Hoof. Which at this point, 
I'm not even sure if it's a positive for us because we've already taken like three speed upgrades between pills and uh, and Lord of the Pit. And the matchstick, I mean, the matchstick is what it is. Umbilical cord's just not very good. Uh, the matchstick is what it is, but I don't think it's that amazing. Picked up almost every consumable in there. Counterfeit penny, if, or sorry, uh, golden poop, if it gave me counterfeit penny. Again, it's just kind of, uh, it's not too little too late necessarily, but it's probably not likely to be that useful for me. We haven't quite gotten that, uh, you know, all-star trinket we'd need. Well, we didn't get that one anyway. Uh, okay, let's come back here. Reroll Abel quickly. Luckily, as a result of having so many speed upgrades, it is pretty easy for me to just uh, go where I need to get quickly, even on a, a floor that's as huge as this. And we did get the compass, which is beautiful as well. We can see now that there's an arcade on this floor. As long as we keep our spirit hearts high, we can... Uh, that's definitely not worth it. As long as we can keep our spirit hearts high, it makes sense for us to be able to uh, gamble a lot on that arcade and hopefully snag even another blood bag. Because our HP is not incredible right now. So our damage is good, not incredible. HP, good, not incredible. Could always use just a little bit more. But especially right now. And it looks like we won't be getting our third level cube of meat, at least not right away. Pills are good, remember we did take Luckfoot. I think. That's pretty amazing. And in a weird way, I thought that that would make it so Oh, it's so good. I thought that would make it so that we can't actually go to um, the mob trap room, but... I'm very thankful that that's not the case now that we have Skeleton Key. Now, of course, here comes the chorus of, You should have taken Guppy's tail even if you weren't going to try to become Guppy, yada yada. Sure, okay. Turns out, you know, with hindsight, you're right. Congratulations. You you looked to the end of the book and then started telling people about your predictions for how things will end just so you look smart when it actually happens the way that you already knew it was going to happen. I didn't take Guppy's tail, not only because I didn't want to become Guppy because we became Guppy on the last run, but, because that ruins its reroll pedestal, where I could have rerolled that and gotten, like, the mark or something like that, which would have been nice. That's the other reason. But in this situation, you are right. Not in every situation, though, even though Guppy's Tail is pretty good in its own merits. We did have, uh, we had low keys for parts of this run, so we wouldn't have been able to get great use out of it anyway. Good stuff. Alright, so we come back and we reroll, uh, what is now the quarter. What's better, the quarter or Harlequin Baby? In our current situation, definitely uh, Harlequin Baby is better. Not good, don't get me wrong, but better. So we will head down here, reroll the quarter into a uh, deck of cards. Give us death. Let's try, you know, goodbye to a spades card. Uh, death card, not very good at all. Not sure when I'll use it. Could save it. It's kind of not worth saving. It's like the bare... It's the lowest card worth saving. The lowest value card worth saving, I think. Okay, so let's... Uh, you know what? There you go. We'll use it like that. We're coming close to the end of this floor. It's a big one. It's Necropolis, so, you know, the enemies take a while to kill. And it's an XL floor, so there's all sorts of, you know, weird seams and backtracking that we have to deal with. It's okay. Uh, Isaac's Fork is, again, not good enough. Sorry to tell you. And now that we have a reroll uh, that's going to be ready at the end of this room, I think we're going to gamble a little bit, hope that the blood bag comes out. If it doesn't, hope that the IV bag comes out. If it doesn't, go to the secret room, see if anything there warrants a reroll to save me from a slight bit of backtracking, and then we'll move on and backtrack uh, whatever the item was back there. So you know what? Uh, the item back there was tarot cards, now that I recall. A little bit low on HP here. But that's what this gambling is supposed to assuage a little bit. Alright, so now we go a little bit hard on these guys. Ah, oh, that's pretty excellent. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to use that Joker card, like, straight away. Especially now that we have a reroll. It's Krampus, which is okay. Oh, that's bad damage. I'm not going to reroll Krampus, or Lump of Coal, I should say. I'm just happy to have had a chance to actually get it. Now, our HP is starting to worry me quite a lot, actually. I was going to say a little, but after that hit, I'm getting uh, quite scared. I don't think it's worth taking the crystal ball with us in the future. Why? Especially when our HP is low. Why wouldn't you take the crystal ball? Well, I guess we'll reroll crystal ball just because we're there in the first place. 
Oh, we've already, we didn't go to this room. I'm an idiot. Okay, why wouldn't I take Crystal Ball? We don't have any augmentations for it, so... We're not going to be able to get uh, as many Spirit Hearts as we would under, you know, conditions of us having Battery or 9-Volt, Nun's Habit, anything in that kind of class of items. So what, you might be saying? Well, you got a kind of a good point there, but uh, I think it matters. Wow, really? I think it matters a little bit. I think um, we're going to benefit more from having the D6 and being able to use it tactily. Tact tactily? Tactfully? Uh, than we would from being able to get, like, one Spirit Heart and Map Compass, which we already have, effectively, every, like, six rooms in the future. But our low HP does give me a little bit of pause on that issue, I'll admit. So let's reroll this bad boy right here. It became the Rosary, which I'll take. We can deal with the Bible later. We also got the Blood Bag. That helps out an enormous deal. Now I feel a lot better about our HP. So, I took Isaac's Fork just for now. Just so we can get our uh, HP up. I was hoping that we'd be able to use it to play the Blood Bank a little bit more often, but it's all good. Doesn't really matter in the whole scheme of things, because we already got the Blood Bag uh, paid out. No IV Bag helps me out a lot here. So there's not going to be another reroll um, after this. So we have to commit. We're going to reroll the Tarot Cards. Nice, I guess. Uh, we're going to reroll the Tarot Cards, and we're going to take Harlequin Baby. We're not going to be able to reroll what Mom gives us, and that's probably fine. I think we're in a very good position on this run. And I think this floor has turned out surprisingly well for us. Oh, we should... might as well finish out this last room. Yeah, I'm, I'm very content with the way things have gone. And uh, very hopeful for the way things will go in the future. I think we picked up some very decent stuff here. So we will take Judas' tongue with us in the future. We've seen so many deals with the devil. But there might still be more. Allow me to caffeinate here as we head down. Shaping up to be a little bit of a long run here, but with map and compass, shouldn't be so bad. Don't want to talk about that. What was in here? I guess we would have been best off just taking Abel. Oh well. Or the quarter, even. But again, oh well. We've taken some shitty items out of the pool as a result of it. For here, we're definitely better with Harlequin Baby than we are with... Um, Whatever we had in there earlier, I think it was the Whore of Babylon. We're so unlikely to use the Whore of Babylon that uh, I think Harlequin Baby is a better item for us. Even if it doesn't do much for us. Which it won't, but still. Alright, Blue Mom. A.K.A., you know, hard version of Mom, but it's okay. We have uh, really high damage tiers here. Our crowd control kind of sucks because our rate of fire is low. But as long as we don't miss very often, I guess we'll, we'll be okay. Alright, so gotta try to hit the body segments. The body segments don't move as much as the enemies. A lot of the enemies are just gonna get hit by mom's foot anyway. Alright, that's pretty good. We're about 60% of the way through. Keeper is dead. Probably the most annoying enemy that blue mom can spawn. This is going extremely well. Good. Not quite done. Not quite done. Done. Alright. Eight ball. Terrible. But we got two spirit hearts for our trouble here. Eh, careful. We got two spirit hearts for our trouble here. This is not... That's the way you do it. Uh, down to the next floor. Alright, map plus compass. Library, not interested. Secret room, could be tempted. We'll see. Another spirit heart drop is nice. We don't have miter or relic. We've just had a lot of spirit hearts drop on this run. Uh, and I would be happy to have more. We, we already lost that spirit heart that we picked up. Let's, let's go check the secret room. It's worth checking. We should get one more uh, reroll first before we do, rather than wasting two bombs. Bombs are key. Hmm, very interesting. I'm gonna use it. I was thinking about that as we were fighting those enemies. I think it's better to have 99 bombs, especially with Mr. Mega, and 18 keys, rather than the other way around. Well, we're gonna fight our boss first, just in case we do get a, well, we're obviously gonna wanna reroll uh, the pony as well, but, uh, I figured we would fight the boss anyway, just to see if we got a deal with the devil, reroll for Mark or for Pact. I would be very content with either, or Common Cold, or so many different items. Alright, well, fuck you too, I guess. Range upgrade? Really? You're gonna do me dirty like that? Well, that's okay, I can take a hint. Let's come down here and blow this up. Onk? No, just money. A good deal of money, but just money. So I think we're going to leave and take the range upgrade. Just because I'm too old for this shit, basically. When I started playing The Binding of Isaac, I was a young pup. The age of 22. 
Now I'm a, a bearded, slightly older man. World weary through the RN Jesus. This doesn't appear to be the right way. Uh, and I know that there's a mob trap room there. I'm not too concerned about it though. I'm starting to feel like we're we're drastically powerful relative to the rest of the game. I was feeling a little bit weak. Uh, two floors ago, but that was Necropolis XL talking. That wasn't, um, that's not your average floor, you know? That's an extraordinary time uh, of, of stress and anguish in any young Isaac player's life, so... I don't think we can treat that as the norm. Uh, okay. Waste of a spirit heart, but at least we know. That's just information gathering. How does one use the tower card effectively at this point in the game? I think we try to use it on... Thank you for appearing. I think we try to use it on the Isaac fight, honestly. It's not the most effective item in the world, but that's okay. Some golden chests showing up would be fantastic, but in the meantime, I'm uh, very content with the amount of damage and uh, killing power that we have. Multiple different strategies for taking on those enemies. That seems to be the best one, though. What a, it was not an, even that weird of a run, considering we got Polyphemus, but... Uh, a bit of an unusual one, the way our kind of items have ended up aligning themselves. Like, flying plus spectral tears, but not Spirit of the Night. We actively chose not to pick up Spirit of the Night. Totally, we'll take Lard here. It slows us down, but, you know, we took two or three hundred speed upgrades earlier in the game just for this uh, possibility. And this was a very, very easy floor for us. Not going to worry about playing the uh, Blood Bank. A lot of people say, oh, you should play the Blood Bank. You should really play the Blood Bank. You can get a Blood Bag out of it. There's been so many times, or at least too many times, let's put it that way, where I've just, um, you know, had that exact same logic and ended up losing the game because I really wanted one more Red Heart container that I may or may not have even needed. The more Red Heart containers you have, the more likely you're, you're gonna get the Blood Bag, just simply because of the fact that um, you can afford to play more often. But the less you need it in the first place, you know? It's like a rich person with a gambling addiction. Why? You, you don't need to win the lottery. You already won the the employment lottery or, you know, the trust fund lottery. All you can do is lose at this point. So we're up and we get Curse of Darkness again, which is a little frustrating, but oh well. We're doing so well here that I don't really mind having to go through uh, probably more rooms than would otherwise be considered normal. Um, what would I really love to get on this run? Tear effects, man. Spider Bite, Mom's Contact, Common Cold, Anything that uh, helped us out in that regard, in those regards, I should say, would be B E A U T full, I think. Careful. Careful. Ah, that could have easily killed me. Come on, one of you needs to be dead. The, the health bars are getting too low for you all to be alive at this point. There we go. Now they're all going to go at the same time, probably. Going to die of a broken heart. So we can head down. Oh! Really would have loved for you to explode in one hit. You see, I was gonna say one of these uh, worms flew off the screen. I'm glad it came back and I didn't have to abuse Spider Mod to finish the game. We've gotten very, very lucky with actually finding um, the boss rooms despite being on Curse of Darknesses. It's awesome. All right, so again, free damage. We've got no permanent Polaroid invincibility here, so we're just gonna hang out and then when we get hit, drop a Mr. Mega, change sides, and also completely fuck up the Mr. Mega shot, I guess. That's okay. We can afford to take a lot of damage here. It's not uh, it's not as comfortable as our last run, which is very disappointing because we were Eve on that last run, but it's it's a comfortable run nonetheless. I guess I can't be disappointed that last run was too good. That makes me like uh, it's an attitude problem right there. I don't want to eat filet mignon tonight cuz we had uh, duck confit last night and that was even better. You know, it's just makes it sound like a right old asshole, doesn't it? Here you go, you can have Kraft Macaroni and Cheese with cut up hot dogs in it. That's what you get. So I'm, I've saved the tower card instead because we didn't end up needing it. Maybe I'll use it against Blue Baby or maybe I'll tell it to fuck itself. Ideally, we'd get a D20 and then I could put tower card down and reroll all the bombs. Doesn't happen all that often though. Oh man, I almost took uh, Wiggle Worm by accident. So I love uh, Odd Mushroom, Skinny Odd Mushroom. I think it's totally worth taking homing bombs, considering we have 97 uh, Mr. Mega bombs that are now homing as well. And those two items suck, and as do the ones that they rerolled to. Oh well, let's, let's drop these then. So that's how the tower card ends up working on a regular basis. So we can afford to use bombs for basically everything. Hey, look at this! I'm starting to take some damage. That's a little frightening. 
It's cool though, just to hang back. Oh, that was beautiful. Another speed upgrade. We could use that to compensate for the lard we got earlier. That's why I took the damage. I wasn't used to my speed being so low. We should still be more than fine. But I would like some insurance in the form of like a couple more good items. Mind you, homing bombs is a really, really good item for the position that we're in right now. If I can actually get them to home from a little further away, that'd be nice, but... Pretty hard to complain about getting an item that makes our lives so much easier. So what are we... Oh, nice little bump and jump there. What are we gonna do here? We're gonna uh, kill Sloth last and hope for a good tarot card. Of course, we always do. Come on, don't... Oh, don't fuck with me here. The game fucked with me. Well, okay, at least give me poison bombs then. Nope, okay. Okay. Give me a good space bar item, something uh, that can take my mind off of uh, this. Okay, quad shot's beautiful. PhD, I'm, I'm saving just in case I take some red heart damage. I can get back up to full HP for the boss fight at least. Let's drop some of these in here. This should finish this off very easily. Quick room, very, very quick room. So we don't even need to take the PhD. I'm very, very confident in our ability to win here. That being said, I think we do have to be a little bit more cautious than I thought we would have to be. We can't just run in there willy-nilly like we did on the last fight. You know, I got Kamikaze, I got Kamikaze. No, okay? We can't do that. We've got to be aggressive, but at the same time, we can't just tank a bunch of shots. We're going to win. It's going to be fine. It ended up being a little too close for comfort. I never really felt that da that endangered, but that's okay. We did it. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps a lot. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.